Uh, I'm P Smith on Twitter, so please follow me and get the conversation going. I'm um, very much a Twitter addict in every way, and I have uh, 12 accounts now. <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, although I have access to 28, so, uh, but I don't uh, tweet from them all simultaneously all day, every day. My message is, is rather blunt. If it is crap, no one will read it, and there's no way out of that. <laughs> if it's not good, if it's not good enough for you to recommend to someone, then there's no amount of SEO, there's no amount of uh, tricks that will help you. The people that do make a living from digital media just write good stuff. If you, if you want to make a, you know, a name for yourself, I'd say just put the work in, find a niche and really just do it. Being an expert in something is a currency that you really need to get hold of. If what you want in life is to get a job or to make a living from your own startup, then you need to be telling the world that you're an expert in a particular area. Updating every day, I see a lot of student blogs that don't get updated for weeks um, when I occasionally have a, have a browse around, um, although mine hasn't been updated for weeks, so <laughs> that's hugely hypocritical, although I am running a, helping to run a business at the moment. A good variety of content, like Carl says, not just text, not just uh, stories, not just uh, the old-fashioned newspaper news stories, you know, three men were... Uh, arrested last night on suspicion of da 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 There's a time for that, and there's a time when that, oh, well, that's what you need, that's what we'll do, but not always. What does your site do? Who is it for? Can you sum it up in one sentence? What is it? I, you know, you see some, it's almost like it's about architecture, dance, and animals. <laughs> you know, or it's about surfing, rabbits, and horses. You know, or something, it needs to be about N1, London. That's what it's about. It's not about anything else. It needs to be about pharmaceutical something, or it needs to be about an industry or, a, or an interest, it can be anything. And when you start writing about it and start telling the world about it, you quickly find people that are also interested in the same thing, and that one of those people may well give you a job. So think about all the things you can do that might set you apart. You might write about music or something in your lifestyle or food or, or whatever it would be. Food journalism is a growth area, believe it or not. You know, some of the in-house um, supermarket magazines and uh, a lot of food blogs do very well. Food apps are an absolute goldmine if, if you could launch one of those at the moment. One really good blog to look up is uh, London Underground. I think that's the name of it. And Annie Mole is the blogger who writes that and she's fantastic because she's on the money every day with everything you would ever want to know about London Underground and it's not boring. It's really interesting. It's done with humour. It's done with uh, a certain style. She has attitude. She does the new stuff but she also does um, so when, there's, when the workers in the tube station draw pictures, they just say, have a nice day, here's a picture of a tree. Uh, Kino Fox, good example, this is a, a guy that knew about politics, was interested in it, you may have seen the site, he had 360,000 page views, just, uh, last, this is last week, and 80,000 visitors, about 2 million uh, readers a month. And uh, the, the, the amazing web widget social media study blogging platform he uses is WordPress.com. So that, that, that's, that's how he does it. There's no secret to it. As I was saying earlier, there's no, uh, there's no massive widget that can give you the traffic. He just blogs every day about something very specific. He breaks loads of stories. It's news, 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 scoops and news. It does work for him because he does break stories. He has some very influential readers and some very influential tip offs from both uh, the main political parties. Salacious gossip, he, you know, he insult people, he's, he's a bit of an idiot actually, but it works for him, I mean I'm, I'm personally a big fan, um, and his work ethic is, you, you'll see him up very early in the morning blogging and very late at night, and that's what his readership wants. It's not about technology, it's about people, it's about connecting with the audience. I ban the blog, and just don't think of what you do as a blog. I would actually ban the word blog, don't think of it as a blog, because you're not. Think of yourselves as online publishers. You can do whatever you want to do. And my personal site is psmithjournalist.com. I mean, I don't want to get too above myself, but I actually think of that as, a, as its own little news organisation that's very much paid for itself, you know, because I've got work from that. I've had, um, you know, professional paid commissions just from the things I write on psmithjournalist.com. So it's just another wing of my sort of freelance journalism business. So think of yourselves as a very much the same. Take Twitter seriously. Seriously do this as well. Um, have a real picture and a real bio, so it's actually you, and, and a link to your actual blog. Your about page should be on your bio, um, and you should have a blog and an about page, by the way. And tweet a link to your articles, do that all the time. Don't tweet something you wouldn't want your mum to see or to appear in private eye or both. <laughs>
don't just broadcast your thoughts, share for other people's and uh, retweet often. Talk to people and really talk to people and have fun with it. Just have a retweet button on every page. That's dead easy to do. There's a WordPress widget, I'm sure there's a movable type widget and all the rest of it. Um, uh, Facebook like on every page, dead easy. Again, why not? You can actually track the sort of social traction of all your stuff. That's a no-brainer. Just to end, is there a quick fix? No, there isn't. And that's it. <laughs>